Some fast food chains are already notifying customers as local butchers see a major spike in prices for their meat, chicken and fish. Grocery stores could be next as suppliers struggle to keep up with demand due to coronavirus concerns and shutdowns at plants. News 8's Monique Riego has more on how the situation is affecting businesses and why experts say it's not time to panic. Well, supply is definitely down because meat processing plants had to close down because of the coronavirus. Experts really want to let people know the situation is not where people need to start hoarding because that only makes the situation worse. Now, some restaurants have lost some of their supply, but right now we're in the drive through at In-N-Out. It's very, very busy, and they say they have enough meat for everyone. With meat processing plants and others shutting down due to coronavirus breakouts or concerns, the food industry is taking yet another hit. As far as, you know, beef itself goes, there is a shortage across the country, but it is, it's more of a supply and demand versus an actual shortage. Pam Schwartz is the co-founder of Ranch 45 in Solana Beach. So we are a uh, restaurant and small uh, butcher shop. Once the pandemic began, some large meat processing plants were hit especially hard. One in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, had 800 employees test positive. That brought production there to a halt. And other plants also followed suit in order to prevent the spread of the virus. And while Ranch 45's main supplier is still in operation. Serve exclusively Brant beef. And from them, we haven't seen much of a slowdown, but we have seen a major price increase due to the shortages that are happening. Just how much? From Thursday to Friday of last week, I saw a 45% price increase. Across the country right now, in the last two weeks, they've seen an 80% um, increase on average of beef prices. And I did a little bit of research from the last five weeks. There's been a 115% increase in beef prices over the last five weeks. Some grocery stores are now limiting the number of meat items people can buy to avoid hoarding purchases like we saw with toilet paper and other items. Fast food chains also filling the strain with Wendy's CEO putting out this message. Some of our menu items may be temporarily limited at some restaurants in this current environment. But experts have made it clear this is not time to panic. I saw like that panic buying at first and 99% uh, of our sales were in, um, in beef and chicken and fish. Meat, chicken and fish are still being processed and made available. Short says she's fully stocked. It's just costing more. Some people are learning that you don't have to go to Gelson's or Whole Foods or Bonds or anywhere. Um, you can come here. We have not run out of anything. Um, you, we don't have long lines. And again, right now we are at in and out and they are not limiting any of their menu items. You can still get a double double. Some chains are and stores, but it really depends on which one you go to. But the big message here, this is not time to panic and begin hoarding because again, that just makes the problem worse. Monique Riego, News 8. Thank you, Monique.